Hi there. Here we are with Hannah and her mother Alicia. Hannah was here about a year ago. Uh, she had a childhood injury that I'm going to have her mother tell you about uh, and we did a corrective surgery for her. So tell us what happened to Hannah and how she ended up getting injured. When Hannah was 15 months old, she pulled scalding hot water off of the counter onto her coming down over her head, face, shoulders, and arms. She had third degree burns, her entire face, both shoulders, both arms, um, and an area in her hairline that it killed off all the hair follicles. Um, we took her to Fort Wayne Burn Hospital in Indiana. Um, they had to scrub her face four times a day till blood ran. Um, therefore, we got the results of her face that we have. And then we had to go to Shriners in Cincinnati, Ohio for 11 surgeries on her arms. Um, nothing could be done about her hair loss. Um, and then Dr. Bolton contacted us, um, willing to help us with some hair growth for her. So it was obviously extremely traumatizing. Yeah. You don't remember any of it, right? Horrible, okay, horrible. But for you, it must have been horrible. Yeah, I mean, you scrub your daughter's face, the blood runs, yeah. she screams, and you get done. She doesn't want you, right. but then she comes to you, and then it's time to redo this again, four different things a day for months. And now, Hannah, how did it affect you growing up, the hair loss? Just like a lot of bullying and kids are terrible yeah <laughs> they're, they're teasing you it was that you were uncomfortable yeah. lost your confidence a little bit she's a cheerleader and softball player so she had to pull her hair back so the burn injury showed and were you afraid to like go swimming and do things like that because people would see it yeah so believe it or not that's not uncommon i have other patients that have had boiling hot water on them when they were children I don't know if I, I think I showed you maybe some mm -hmm. of the videos, yeah. Okay. And it's it's a horrible situation. It's extremely debilitating for not only the family, but for the person that goes through it because they're traumatized and they they lose their confidence. It changes how they see themselves. Like Hannah mentioned, she got bullied. That's typical for all the um, patients that I've worked on. Now, after you had the procedure, you healed fine, everything went well, and you're happy with everything. Yeah. And you feel like more confident now? And how about you, Mom? Do you feel better uh, about it? Definitely. It was so rewarding to see her out there cheering and playing softball, Having right along with the other girls, awesome. um, not feeling concerned or um, inadequate about her hair loss. That's so awesome. I'm going to kind of show you off a little bit. Will you just pull your hair back a little bit and show the camera? And if you can just explain what we did for you and where we put the hair. Um, right along here in this area. It was all transferred. So where they did the graft transfer, yeah. so it was all scarred. So this whole area was open. Yeah. So all around the front, she didn't have any hair here. So we went through and completely reconstructed her hairline, put the nice soft natural grass, built the hairline out so it matched her other side, went through, created nice density behind it to fill this all in nicely. And she took amazing, it just every graft took so she was a great patient, obviously. The suture line came out perfect, and this looks like her own natural hair. So she'll have this for the rest of her life. So even if she were to thin out a little bit, this hair is permanent and won't ever thin out. So you'll have that forever. All right. So are you excited? Yeah. Mom, are you excited? Very excited. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Congratulations. You. you did great. You were a great patient. <laughs> And she was tough in the surgery, didn't say boo. It was a great patient. <laughs> so congratulations, thank you very much for doing the video. Thank you.